we'll learn about fractions and outputting our numbers as fractions. Let's turn the calculator on and we're going to do one third, so one divided by three plus one divided by five, so one third plus one fifth. Now I want the calculator to output this as a fraction, so I'm going to hit the math key and then I'm going to choose number one here, which that little arrow means output as a fraction and that puts that command on the home screen. The screen right here is called the home screen and next when I hit enter it'll give me my result which I can now write down and that is 8 fifteenths. Now how do I input 0.385 as a fraction? Well 0.385 and I just go through exactly the same procedure. Math 1 at frac and that instruction says on the home screen says output the result as a fraction and that is <clears throat> excuse me that's 77 two hundredths so that's going to be uh, 77 over 200 so your calculator is really good at doing fractions for you you don't have to worry about that when you can use your calculator next I want to have the calculator, perform the calculation for the base of 27 to the power negative one third. 27, I'm going to hit this carré symbol here and that puts the cursor up into the exponent area minus 1 divided by 3 and notice it, the cursor is now blinking up in the exponent area. I want it down in the whole numbers area so I'm going to hit the forward key here and now I want to tell the calculator output everything as a fraction, so math, hit enter to choose uh, that arrow frac and then enter the second time to do the calculation and I see that the result is one third. Next I'm going to calculate this fraction 4 minus 5 all squared over 5 squared minus 4 squared and I'm going to have to be careful here with my numerator and denominator. So I'm going to use the parentheses key 4 minus 5 close the parentheses squared and now I'm going to use divide now I've got to have everything in the numerator enclosed in parentheses otherwise it'll use the order of operations and think it's 4 minus 5 squared divided by 5 squared and that's not what we want is it so I have 5 squared minus 4 squared and I hit enter. Oh darn, that's right, I needed to output this as a fraction. But that's no problem. I'm just going to say second answer and then tell it to output the answer as a fraction and I see that my result then is one ninth. So even if I forget, I can get the previous answer back by hitting second answer and then I can have it output as a fraction. Next I want to calculate 1 divided by the fourth root of 81. So that's 1 divided by, and now I'm going to have to enter this fourth root of 81. So I'm going to hit 4 and then the math key, and I'm going to need this number 5 here. I can scroll down to 5 or I could hit the 5 key and that e hit enter and that puts that at the fourth root because I put 4 first of all, 81. Now notice how I'm my cursor is still underneath the square root. Uh, I want to hit this forward button to get out of that and I want the output as a fraction and that gives me 1 third and that boy this calculator makes my life easy, doesn't it? For the graphing portion of this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a scatter plot. We're going to go through this process using five steps. We're going to clear any existing lists out of the calculator, put data into list one, put data into list two. We're going to turn on the scatter plot or the statistical plotting. We're going to use a special feature of the calculator to automatically get just the right window to display our graph, and then we're going to turn off the stat plot and clear everything out of the list, sort of clean up at the end. Our first step is to clear any existing lists from the calculator. I'm going to hit the stat key 
and I'm going to scroll down and choose clear list, item number four from the menu. Then I need to choose the list. There are six possible lists. So I'm going to say second and then look at the blue key for list. I want to clear everything out of list one if there's anything in there. Then hit the comma. I also want to clear everything out of list two. So I'm going to scroll down to list two. I could keep going and do all the way through list six, but I just have data right now in list one and list two. So I'm going to hit enter and then it tells me that it has cleared the list. So I've got a nice empty calculator ready to go. Next I'm going to enter the data you see there into list one and the data you see into list two. I'm going to hit the stat key and choose edit. And you can see I have empty lists. So I want to make sure that my cursor, the darkened area there, is in list one. And I'm going to enter zero. Notice how it says list one, item one equals zero. I hit enter and that's now put in there. One, so list one, item two is one. Then I'm going to put in two and then three. And now I'm ready to move over to list two. I only want to use two lists here. And list two, item one is the number one. List two, item two is the number two. List three, item three is the number four. And finally, I'm going to put in eight for list two, item four. I can just sort of visually expect it, inspect that and see that I've entered my data into list one and list two. To get back to the home screen, I always hit second, quit. Next, we're going to turn on and configure the stat plot. I'm going to hit the second key and then stat plot. I'm going to put everything in plot one. So I'm going to hit enter. I've got to make sure it's turned on. So I want to hit on for enter there. Now let's go down and I want these dots. That's what a scatter plot is. It's the dots. So I'm going to move down one. The X list, the independent variable list, that's in list one. That's automatically set up like that. The Y list, well, that's in list two, so that's how I want it. And I can choose the mark I want. I could choose this little square with a dot in the middle. I could choose this plus sign or a dot. I think I'm going to go with the plus sign, but you can pick whichever one you want. And that sets up the stat plot. Next, we will use the Zoom menu. That's this button right here. I'm going to hit Zoom. And we want it to automatically formulate the graphing window to exactly what we need. We're going to scroll down. You see all of these are preset graphing windows. But we want Zoom stats for statistics. And the calculator will then look at what's in list one and list two and configure accordingly. So Zoom. And then I want to choose number nine. And then I'm going to hit Graph. And that gives me my statistical graph. OK, if I want to see what the window is automatically set to, I could hit the window key and see the numbers there the calculator decided. Let's do second quit to get back to the home screen. Now what we want to do is sort of clean up. Turn off the stat plot, so second stat plot. It's turned on. I'm going to hit Enter to go into it and scroll over and hit Off. You want to do this because if you want to graph anything else, it's going to be weird. It's, it's going to be a problem. You also want to clear out the list. So take all the data out of the list that you have. So let's do that again. So stat, we're going to choose number four. Second list, let's clear everything out of list one and a comma. Second list again. Let's clear everything out of list two. So we'll scroll down, hit enter. Done. I'm going to clear the home screen by hitting this clear key. And I'm going to turn off my calculator. Second off. That's how you produce a scatter plot. And then clean up the calculator. I would like to invite you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks very much for listening.